All right, hello everyone. My name's Jake, uh, and this is the first episode of this little series I'm doing on teaching um, Solidity, which is the programming language used to code Ethereum smart contracts and other, other blockchain smart contracts. Now, I'm a total beginner, so I'll be teaching this from a beginner's perspective. I do have a background in uh, JavaScript and front-end development, so I know a bit of programming, know a bit of Python, but I don't know any blockchain um, languages. So I'm going to be teaching this, yeah, like I said, from a total total beginner's point of view. Um, I'm not going to be talking about how the blockchain works or, or how transactions are verified in cryptography. I'm just going to get straight into the actual coding. Uh, it's important to know I'm also currently, so I've paid for this Udemy course, uh, which is what's helping me learn. Um, so yeah, I really recommend that. That's also very good. But the idea of this is just basically to teach Solidity from a beginner's perspective and simultaneously help me learn it better because by teaching, by showing, uh, it certainly does make you a better student yourself. So first of all, we're going to be using MetaMask. Um, I'm not going to teach you how to set up a MetaMask account, but yeah, we've got all the MetaMask. I'm connected to the Ropston test network. If I log in quickly now. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, as you can see, I've got some uh, Ethereum in this account. This isn't real. This is a test network. So I've connected to the Ropston test network and I've deposited Ethereum into it using this online faucets. You just need to plop your address in here. Um, I practice kind of, there we go. That's the first contract deployment, first contract I've written. Uh, and then, yeah, just sending a bit of Ethereum to and, for, to and from, from another test account I've got. Um, but yeah, so let's get started making our own contract. So to the yeah. so to deploy our first contracts, we're going to be using Remix, uh, Remix IDE, which is just basically an online um, online platform where you can program using the Solidity language. Uh, so we just want to go into this section over here, our workspace section, go into the contracts bit, uh, and then make a new file. We'll just call it first contract. And that's got to be a .sol file. Um, so first of all, before starting any Ethereum, any Solidity contracts, you need to... So first of all, before deploying or writing any code for any contract, we need to begin with this pragma line. Um, so we say pragma Solidity, and then the version. So we use a caret, which means any version higher than the one we're about to give, and we're going to be using version 5.11. Uh, and then, so yeah, so that there just shows us that we're using Solidity, which version, because obviously there's different versions of Solidity. Um, okay, and then, so first of all, we just want to write this contract line, so uh, contract, and then the name of the contract, my contract, or first contract, whatever you want, curly braces, Boom, and so again, I don't actually know what a contract is yet. I don't know if it's kind of like a class, um, or if it's, yeah, I'm not 100% sure yet, but this is how you do it. So uh, in our first contracts, we wanna say, deploy the typical hello world string. So for that, we write string, public, and then what the string's name is. So first string, I'll do camel case and then set that equal to hello world. Now, I don't actually know whether you need to put these semicolons in. I'm going to try it afterwards without and see what happens. But this here is basically our first contract. So we've got our contract um, class, I suppose, here, or contract, whatever it is. And inside it, we're saying that we've got a string, a public string specifically, which is called first string, and it has the value of hello world. So once we've done that, we'll just go compile the first contract. There we go, it's compiled now, uh, and then deploy it. So to deploy it, we need to press the environment and injected web three automatically. Okay, it's already done already. So for you guys, if you haven't done it already, automatically MetaMask will pop up. Uh, you just need to press confirm and then continue with that. But yeah, it's ready to be deployed now. So let's press deploy.
has been an error. So, what is this terminal to be? It's timed out. Okay. So we ran into a slight error there. I've still got the first contract up over here. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go into the. We'll just compile it again. It's compiled. Deploy it. There we go. Okay. Don't know what happened there. So I just refreshed the page and it's gone. So now if we check our MetaMask account, um, Okay, so it's because we didn't do it on the hadn't changed to the injected web free one, which is the MetaMask. As you can see, it says Robston Network here as well, and that's the same net. That's the same test network we're using. Um, so we'll deploy it now. There we go. Now MetaMask pops up. Okay, confirm it all through here. <clears throat> and yeah, gas fees get used, but it gets taken out of our fake theorem anyway. <coughs> so now we just wait for the contract to go through on the system. Uh, and there we go. Finally, you can see it's been deployed. So now we can check our contracts over here. And you can see we've got this first string. Click on that. Uh, and it looks like it's an object. So it saves it in an object, I think. Uh, and the string is hello world. So brilliant. That there's deploying the first contract. It's very simple, very easy. This code is quite familiar to any sort of object orientated programming language. Um, I believe is solidity. I think solidity is object oriented. Yeah. So it's an object oriented language such as JavaScript or um, C++. I think C++ is. Yeah, also an object one. So yeah, um, right. So I hope you found that interesting. Hope you found that useful. Like I said, I'm I'm a beginner, so you'll kind of be learning. If you're watching this, you'll be learning it uh, alongside me, rather than getting confused by some guy who knows it all already and is just spitting words out at you. So that's what I aim to achieve. And like I said, hope to be fair. The the main reason as to why I'm doing this is um, to improve my own abilities, and then potentially I'll be able to teach it better in the future.